Hi, welcome back to Let's Play on Felsberg. And here we are with the, uh, continuing on with the harvest with the Nova here. You know, this will be the last, I made up my mind, it will be the last harvest with the Nova. We're going to have another, another larger harvest for the next one. So uh, he's just, that worker's motor, oh, there he goes. Finally made a little mistake. We're going to kick the worker out. I don't know if it's the ground. I didn't see it there. Uh, we're gonna find out here real quick. Yeah, it might just be the way the ground was. I don't know. Yeah, see how it's dragging real bad. The header, I mean. So let's go ahead and cut him a little bit of space right here. Oh yeah. Really slow me down. And we have to get stuff that's somehow growing in the row. Very hardy crops. Those are some good crops right there. Such good crops, they didn't even want to, uh, didn't even want to be harvested. Pop this guy back onto a worker, check on our little Nova here. 2,000, 4,000. We are making some uh, some good headway here. I think we're about halfway done here on the large, on the 1819 field. And little know was about halfway done on field 11. I know I'm emptying them way before they need to be emptied. Kind of on purpose. Every other time I, when I do the harvest, I, I only you know I get them when they say 80% full or whatever, and then my trailers are full, and one of my harvesters ends up sitting full somewhere, and I don't have an empty trailer. So I'm trying to keep them, keep filling my trailer up as much as possible. That way I can, uh, when it's time. When I finally do get this trailer full, another 10,000 or so, 11,000, uh, I can run, make a carting trip with two trailers because I have to go all the way to Port Southeast. It's going to be a long haul. And get it sold, get that part of the harvest sold, and then when I get back, I should just have one trailer load left. Uh, that's why I keep bouncing back and forth between the two of them, doing it, doing it more than necessary more than you have to. Um, so. Get this emptied out. A little far away. get everything you got out of there. So. One thing I'm curious about, let's take a look at our stats here. Worked in total. Mm -hmm. Plowed. That's just how much acres, heck to acres, we, uh, we've we added. It's a pretty good amount just to add. I mean, that's as much as one field. Hmm? Sown acres, fertilized, harvested. We've sown a lot more than we've harvested. Well, no, we're not finished yet. But 
anyway. Here's our little bit of numbers. As you can see, we've done no. Uh, we've got no storage capacity. We've done no missions. So. Yeah, a lot of seed, a lot of fuel. Check in on the horses. 35. Yep, everything's still, uh, still good. Looks like they need a little bit of hay. There's something we can go do real quick. One of these harvesters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this trailer. I don't need to go get rid of the front weight. I had the front weight from where I was plowing on the other field. And um, go get rid of the weight. Grab the bell spike. Go get a go get a bell. You know, eventually I want a. I want a grass field so that we can cut and bale it. I think that's our easiest way into uh, into really doing some some, some good silage. Um, it's just baling it all, and then we can just take and sell the bales. So because there is a a bell wrapper we can use. There we go. Let's get our bell spike on. And let's head over to the uh, to the shop. I'm gonna get another bell. And I'm thinking one of these fields right here will probably be our target for that. To do all the grass cutting on, to do the you know, we can cut the grass every day and whether we do hay bales for the horses, you know, I think if you do one good one. You know, one one big uh, baling run. And the horses will be good for a while, and then we can also do it with uh, do the uh, bales with the bell wrapper. You know, just do grass instead of hay, and do the bell wrapper, and we'll have silage we can sell. Because if we're going to have everything to do the hay, we're only looking at one more piece of equipment to wrap it. That'll give us another good revenue stream. Let's get this hay. Get, get the horses their hay. Yeah, they look now. Yep, thirty-five thousand. That's good. And because as soon as we get done with the soybean harvest, I want to go ahead and get the oat trailer. As empty as we can here stuff dumped out oh yeah we'll have plenty of room plenty of room wow I can't believe they took the whole thing okay well I probably need to be up to 48,000 all right good to know well, we do have 12 horses in there that actually worked out really well we're gonna kick him real quick cause otherwise he's gonna drive down here and Turn around and I'm gonna get these little bits myself. Then we'll get them working again. So I think our little merger of the two fields here is gone about as good as you can ask for. I feel like there's going to need to get rid of a bunch of the trees and stuff down here. So I think we need to get rid of all these trees. This one, this one, this one. And that way we just have to avoid this house. And you can't sell this house. There's nothing you can do to get rid of it that I know of. Uh, maybe there'll be a mod or giant will add something like they did the landscaping tool to be able to get rid of that. Um, See, eventually I want to put the house up here. Yeah, so I want to put the house this way. Kind of like up, maybe like right here. You know, with the with the hill to its back there, and we'll put it right down in front, and we'll have this nice view from the house. And yeah, you know, at that point is when we'll do away with this field. We won't use that field for anything. Uh, 
Ani game. It's a proper trailer, which is in this field. Empty out both of the both of the combines and see if we can get a full trailer. That way we can make a run to the cell point. There it is. I could probably go ahead and bring the. Yep, I need to bring the. Uh, as soon as I get the Nova emptied again, bring the, the case of the big Amazon over here and get the uh, cover crop going on. a bit more in there than I thought he did. He was almost 80%. Leave this guy there. And we're already set for the cover crop. Alright, good deal, good deal. I probably have to go back, come back later and clean up the ends of the fields by letting a worker do it. So, so. Oprah Jay's on my seat. Happened again. I've got to get this little bit right here done, just the first part of this field done before I can go. Uh, Yeah, 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 you need to unfold it first. Drop it down. Yeah, before I can go empty that, I have to uh, just get past where these signs are. Or where I run them over every time they put them back up. Whoever puts the signs back up around here, it definitely has job security because I hit all of them. See, there's one of them. And there's no. As soon as we get past them, we can click it onto the worker and let them go. That should be good. Hopefully, we can figure out how to turn around. There we go. I started off good getting everything emptied like I should and then fell off. So we're going to run back over there real quick and get it in here. Definitely fill up our trailer. Hopefully, he'll have enough room to keep working until we get back. Turn too sharp. Killed myself there. There we go. trailer and check the prices most likely we're still I do hate that yes I hate that 
jump. I know I smoothed some of it down. I really need to go back and do a little more, a little more landscaping, terraforming. Do it a little bit better. Everything's hooked up. We got 42,000. Where's our best prize? Port Southeast still. Yeah, see, I bottomed out the grain mill last time. We'll go bottom them out real quick. That's why we're definitely going to have to flip to another crop. Maybe we should just do one of each going down through there that we do. We'll just start at the first one and work our way down. Do wheat, do barley, do oats. Keep one full trailer of oats for our uh, for our horses and then work our way down from there. Well, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. We could rotate them by field. But combining that one field into one large field kind of kind of messes that up a little bit. I don't know. Let's find out. You know, I like doing one big crop. It makes it easier for for everything, for transporting and whatnot. You know, eventually we'll get to the point where we won't have to sell everything. And we can just store a bunch and then do large sales. And then when we have a good price, we just, you know, go dump 200,000 liters on them. You know. Eventually we will get there. I'm excited and awaiting uh, the uh, British map coming from the modders, from Oxygen David. I'm, I'm really waiting on it. When it comes out, I'm going to start start playing it probably right away. Uh, you know, we may just end up having having a second series running because I've seen it and it looks great. I've seen the screenshots of it and everything. Uh, Maxwell Manor, I think it is. Maxwell Manor, I think is the name of it. So, I'm going to be really excited to uh, to get to play it. You know, because it's being Felsburn is a German map, and then we'll play on the UK map. And I haven't really seen any great American modern maps yet. There's a, a Michigan map, which looks pretty good, which I might have to look into. Um, 126,000. Yes, sir. Now that's a harvest. And I'd say that's, you know, that, that's more than half. That's probably two thirds of what we, uh, of what we actually have. So we'll, we should have at least a little bit more to come. And I'd say definitely we're going to be selling the Nova getting ourselves a larger harvest so when we come back for the next harvest we will have a bigger machine how big I don't know but we will definitely have a bigger machine we'll probably go ahead and max our loan out and get the biggest machine we can we're still leaving us a little bit of money in the bank. You know, all of our horses are now profitable you know, we've gotten our money back on them plus what we spent to put into them so you know, if we get in absolute danger we we could sell off a horse or two just to, you know, just to kind of float the books and, you know, until we got our harvest. So, oh, I need to pay attention to my driving. Okay. Yep. Got to pay attention to my driving. A little bit of crash there. Nobody saw that. I mean, I, you know, I could edit it out and you wouldn't see it. But I'm just going to let it be. Just going to let it be. One of our helpers has nearly a full tank. Which one? Jay, okay. It's the master. Probably. Uh, now D's full too. Okay. Ready? Uh, nope, not what I wanted to do. There we go. We're going to go to D first. We're going to go to the Nova first get it emptied because it's got the uh, big Amazon cedar trailing behind it. It can't be down for any, any length of time at all. You know, if it packed out, it would be a, 
horrible, horrible is the word. Um, it's pretty well done, you know. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to pull right down here. Get stopped. Please, and back on. Don't know. I think the cedar may get it before we get it. Not good. Well, we'll get whatever we can. It shouldn't be but a few liters. Yeah, there's not very much right here, so if he plows it under, it's not going to be the end of the world. Very surprised he actually did better. The helper did better with that big Amazon cedar on this side of the field than he did the smaller cedar that we used before. Alright. You can have it, my man. Okay, we're gonna empty this thing out. Nope, not enough room. Come on, Rigid, learn how to drive. There we go. When it gets full, we gotta get the other one. We gotta get over and get the other combine empty. Doesn't have much left. As soon as we get him, as soon as we get over here and get the trailer under his uh, under his pipe, we can bring the spreader over to Got the cedar over. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just go. We'll get that one empty down in just a second. I want to try to push it. Get more done. So. you up. And I'm going to go get him started on the far side of uh, 19 over there. I haven't planted the crop going that way and I'm going to have to watch it and be careful because I don't want him to plow under my oats before I get them, before I get them done. I, mean, I should have time. I should have a good you know, 20 minutes or so before he gets, before he gets all the way over there. Let's open them up. And go. It's a slow start. Okay, 7250 is a workhorse. Absolute workhorse. Let's get the Nova headed that way. And we still have to get all of our oats done. I might go ahead and get started with the, uh, with the Nova here on the oat field. Preparation for the massive to come over and really finish it all. So. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get that out of there. And 
away we go. Get a little more harvest. In there. All these oats. Eventually, we'll get. We'll have enough oats to. We'll keep up with our horses. And I'm pretty sure this one field grows more than what they eat in a day. So it seems like I've been working continuously. It's con it continuously uh, goes up. Let me see. Yeah, 47,000. I just think it's always that initial surge that we have to get when we get new horses. There's a little hump in the field right there. Can't do a whole lot about it without smoothing it out with the landscape tool and then having to go back and replow it. And I don't think it'll be too many, too much longer we won't be using this field for oats. We'll kick oats over to 11 and we'll have plenty of oats and this field will get more animal paddocks and maybe chickens and stuff like that. Sheep aren't bad to deal with, but I don't. I wasn't a fan of their profitability. The chickens look very profitable, though, and require little or no maintenance. All you have to do is feed them some wheat. But I really feel like we need uh, uh, that we'll need a grain silo before we get there. So. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today, and this is going to be uh, part three of the, the Nova's final harvest here, and that's where we're going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. So, if you would, leave me a like, drop me a comment, uh, you know, maybe click that subscribe button. You know, love to have you along here, and I sure do appreciate y'all watching, and we'll see y'all next time.